And now a quick word from our sponsors here at Viral Hip Hop News. Hey, yo, bring the fire all summer long with the Big Three and your homeboy Ice Cube. Starting July 10th on CBS, Driller, and Fight TV. That's right, every Saturday, bring the fire with the Big Three, baby. And here from Viral Hip Hop News, letting my people know to go grab this bottle of miracle food right now. Shopadopter.org put together some of the best ingredients on God's green earth to help your immune system, give you a cleanse and reboot that your body deserves. Don't wait for your miracle. Grab it in miracle food right now. Let's go. House of Lazenberry 1978 is the continuation of the Lazenberry family fighting for its independence in the criminal world from the mafia and the national agreement. This ongoing battle takes the Lazenberry clan over international waters. Grab the House of Lazenberry 1978 in the description box right now. Album, as far as Sarah's R&B parts, I helped write them because mm. she didn't have the know-how of the streets and the language and the linguistics mm. that 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 met all of our uh, improvement, you know what I'm saying, to make it mesh and sound like one uh, uh, complete project. Right, now, now back to the reality So you were talking about making a band, excuse me, you was talking about you know, how that was kind of, a lot of the stuff was fake on there and scripted, how they would kind of set up the different scenes to have you guys going back together. Um, is that accurate? And do you think a lot of the uh, the new um, reality shows um, co copied off that whole formula? Yeah, I mean, in a way, I mean, there's a lot of copy and paste and a lot of um, events don't add up with uh, what's being said. Like me and Sarah Mike had to talk about Fred and then um, they'll play it like we was talking about Fred, but we wasn't. We just was having a discussion about Fred, but the way they copy and paste it when you see it on Thursday at 10 o'clock made it seem like we was talking about him. So they, 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 uh, the order of events don't always be the same. And I can see how they use that now to in the love and hip hop. Mm -hmm. It's just, they just create storylines. Well, back then it wasn't no storyline. They just put us in one house and just start filming. And whatever happened, happened. Where to uh to now they create environments for people to throw drinks on each other and they create these storylines with beef. When we came in the game, it just was uncharted territory. It was like the deal was cut. We picked the uh who we gonna we picked the band members, put them in the house, and start shooting. Well, well, no. well, so well, cheesecake walk was a freestyle, was like puffy okay. because he didn't have anything for us to do. It was uncharted mm -hmm. territory. You can see as the seasons went on with Danny D. Kane in day 26, they start getting it right and they start like improving on different things. Well, our season was just flat out, bottom line, six people from all walks of life in one in one place to make an album. Right. Now you and Chopper City a long time ago, you guys had words. Was that was that based off the show or something like separate that went back beyond beyond between you two? Excuse me. No, basically, you got to understand, with six members. So anywhere we went, city to city, state to state, they always paired us. So that was my little bro. So they always kind of paired us. Okay. Like the oldest with the youngest, and then it would be Dylan and Fred and the two girls, Babs and Sarah. So I was always with Chopper. Me and Chopper shared rooms all, of, all around the country, all around the world. Okay. So it wasn't beef. It just was a thing like, I'm tired of this nigga. Just how brothers would fight. Like, yo, I'm tired of looking at this nigga. Mm -hmm wasn't a real deep issue that couldn't have been that was unrepairable it's just it's just it's just a normal <clears throat> tenacity of being around somebody long periods of time that's younger than you right no doubt so let me ask you this because now i'm gonna take it on a deeper level real quick because we know nothing runs and rules this world like black entertainment whether it be sports music on tv or whatever and they like more than ever black drama. And they like to portray that like we're buffoonery or we're buffoons or we're animals and things like that. Do you think that those reality TV shows, like how you guys were portrayed, how they kind of switched up words and things like that were like a direct effect on like, okay, we're going to make these brothers and sisters look a certain way. And you think they're continuing to do that now with reality TV and how we see it? Yeah, but uh, I mean, if you're going to complain about that, you might as well not even step in that realm. Yeah. It's entertainment it's show business it's smoke and mirrors so if you get in like yo the game is fake and they did this then you're lying to yourself you know what i'm saying and that's the decision i had to make this is show business it's entertainment a lot of things is going to be moved around and put in place for the for, for the for the consumer and the people that purchase and buy the music to feel some type of way and that's why marketing promotion and writers and stuff sit in room hours on end trying to figure a way how they can get that money out your pocket for the product and items that they're selling. 
So with that being said, um, like I said, making the band, we was an all black cast. And at that time we was competing with the Osbournes, which was the biggest <laughs> like, right. top three shows on MTV at the time. Mm-hmm. So that episode where me and Fred fought, we actually beat out the Osbournes on wow. view, that episode. So once we created that kind of like rivalry, it was encouraged to have more fights. Like we would have puff, like, yo, if y'all get mad at each other, just slap each other, just shout at each other. It's great <laughs> to me. So it was like that type of energy. Yeah. Like trial and error. That didn't work. They didn't fuck with that episode. Oh, they really fuck with the episode where y'all putting hands on each other. Yeah, kind of repeat that behavior every episode. Mm. So we like, so that was, you know what I'm saying? So it really put a strain on recording music and being around each other. Cause it was like, when we was around each other. We had the camaraderie. We all walked in the game at the same time for this one specific reason to be part of a band, a hip hop group. And then outside when the cameras is off, we good. But then when the cameras is on, everything is heightened. Every little word, every little thing. Yo, you drunk my soda. Yo, you ate the rest of my food. What you say? Don't be talking to me like that. But when the cameras was off, you wouldn't be so sensitive. You would probably let a, a couple things slide mm. that you wouldn't when the cameras is on. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, got you. Right now, speaking speaking coming out of that, going, you know, um, when that was over, how did that help propel your career to the next level and what you wanted to do, being a star on MTV, worldwide, everybody knowing you? After the band was 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 disbanded, and me Chopper and Doc, um, Chopper and Doc were selected to stay on a probationary period. Okay, you know we were signed. We got signed to the band through Bad Boy Universal in September of two thousand two. The album came out two thousand three, so we took a year to make the album. And by that time, we was on the third season. Make a long story short, um. I was on probation for two years. So ever since we was dis- disbanded at the end of maybe 04, you know, I just was making music, taking it back up to daddy's house, letting Puff Harry recording with some of the hitmen, Doe Fat, Yogi, uh, D Dot, and just letting them hear music. So then when he decided, um, time came to, you know, give me my new situation, everything was there in place. And they got the distribution from Atlantic Warner Music Group. And then I got a solo a deal with that imprint. So I actually got two deals out of Puff. The band album and my solo imprint. Word. When did you start getting into battle rap? Hip-hop. 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 Bars is back. Hip-hop. Sam and Oh, God. What's up with you? I done watch them niggas do interview after interview They not culture vultures, the culture something they been into So if you never gave them a view, I recommend you do Cause when they question guests, they message is not subliminal It don't matter if you a rookie